Morning Catcher, we're going to start off this look with our Ruby Kisses Primer or any primer of your choice. Just going to apply that on the eyelid itself and all around the eye, everywhere where there's going to be some color, some shadow, and some glitter. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and apply this Jumbo Pencil in green. This is from Ruby Kisses, but if you have a deep green or jewel toned green pencil you'd like to use, go ahead and use that. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Inglot palette. There's a beautiful sparkly green here. I'm using a flat shader brush, and this is from Sigma. I'm gonna go ahead and put that green on there. You can see the sparkles. And I'm just gonna apply it all over the lid, everywhere where that green jumbo pencil was. Alright, next I'm going to go into my Coastal Scents Warm Palette. And there's a beautiful green right here. Okay, I'm just going to use that with a fluffy blending brush. This is from MAC. This is the 224. You can see the color right there. And I'm just going to take it around this uh, eye here. Okay guys, in the same Coastal Scents palette, there's a goldish bronze color here, right here. I'm going to apply that as my brow bone highlight. I'm taking another fluffy brush. I'm going to dip it into that color. See it there on the brush. Just take it right here in the highest point of the brow. And blend it downward windshield wiper motions okay and blending that lighter green to the brow bone next I'm going to use one of my favorite colors that I like to use in my crease this is Brick by Mary Kay I'm going to use that just a brownish reddish color it really looks nice on darker skin tones. I'm going to apply that right in the creased area. And now you can see I'm really defining that crease. I'm taking it right to the bridge of the nose. And following the shape of my eye. Next, for the fun part, I'm taking three separate glitters, and I don't think these are eye safe. I got them from Michael's Crafts. They're three separate greens. I mixed all three into a cap, and here's what that mix looks like. Next, I'm going to take some regular eyelash glue. This is Lash Grip. I'm going to apply a little bit of that to my hand. And I'm going to use that as an adhesive to apply my glitter. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead back into the warm palette. I'm going to use this black right here. And I'm really going to define the outer corner and that crease okay so I'm taking an angled brush this is the medium angle shading brush from Sigma the E70 and I'm just gonna take it into the outer corner and start working it into the crease So I'm going to take that black into the lower lash line. I 
I'm going to go ahead and apply a black liner to my lower waterline. This is from Ruby Kisses. It's a retractable liner in black. And I'm going to go ahead and allow that black liner to smudge right down to that green. This is a uh, RC Cosmetics brush, pointed kind of a pencil brush but I like to use that down there to kind of smudge out eyeshadows and liner and as you can see it's darkening that green okay now I'm gonna take my blending brush again this is the 224 I'm gonna go back into my highlight color and just freshen things up bring back some color and as you can see just adding that one color made the other color start popping I'm gonna go back into my blending brush this is a 217 and gonna bring back that brick color from Mary Kay And also, I'm blending things together up there. You can see it's starting to blend together. Okay, I'm going to use the Ruby Kisses gel liner. It appears I really like Ruby Kisses, huh? But the um, all of the cosmetics are very affordable. They can be found in the um, beauty supply store, and it's pretty good quality. So if you haven't checked out Ruby Kisses before, please do. I'm going to leave a few links to different tutorials. I use their foundation and things like that. And just look at it and let me know what you guys think. I think it's good cluck for your buck. Okay, I always like to go over my gel liner with a little bit of uh, liquid liner just to straighten up my lines a bit and freshen things up, especially when I'm using glitter. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is Nika K mascara. I'm going to apply that a little to the top lash line and about two coats to the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this lash. This is Extreme Lash, also from the Beauty Supply Store. And I'm using my Dark Tone Duo Eyelash Adhesive. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, now that my lash is applied, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this MAC Pigment. And this is in Golden Olive. I've used it in another tutorial. And I'll link that either right here in the video or below and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to me today this is kind of a Merry Christmas look um, very sparkly, very fun. I even put my little fake flowers in my hair my daughter gave me. Shout out to Gabby. She said she wanted me to wear it in my hair. So I worked them in, baby. And they're in my hair, and I don't care what nobody says. It's cute. Okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take some pictures. I want you guys to look at the pictures at the end. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Cyber Kisses. And see you in the next video. Bye.